with Dirt Poor Gaming. I'm Lava King, and today, well, I'm going to be showing you a few new series we have planned. So, uh, I already showed you these worlds, so I'm just going to explain what these are. So, first of all, I have to have the GUI on. Alright, so, create a map. So this is uh, an, one of the series we have planned, and basically it's going to be I create maps, or Mystical creates maps, or someone just, it's just going to be a series of us creating maps. So this was just an example of like, um, building, like you come around and see, oh it's unfinished, and then I start building on it. And then the next one is Akalo City. So this one is actually a map I downloaded, but so it um, it looks pretty cool. And of course, if I use it, I will use I will give all of the credits in every video I use it in because I did not build this. <laughs> I am not that talented. Um, I mean, I'm going to be trying to make maps, but. I don't know if they're going to be like this or what they are yet, so. So, yeah. And this map just looks really cool, and I thought it would be great for cinematics. And that's the next series I'm going to explain. So, we decided we wanted to do, like, cinematics. So, adventures. So, we were thinking there are a couple worlds we could use, and we could also create our own. Which is probably the best, but just in case, we have a few reserved worlds here, like this one, Akalo City. And the thing I found cool about this, like, is not only does it look pretty cool, but it has a giant, and I mean giant, glass dome around the entire area. Well, I mean, I guess it's not a dome, it's just a half dome, but there's just so much here, it's just amazing. Like, I haven't even seen this before, and I've explored this map quite a bit. Like, I actually just found this, I haven't seen this, I have no idea what this is, just a truck, I guess. But, this map is so cool, and I just... Like, the map creator is just really talented, and we thought, yeah, well, yeah, it might be a good map for that. So, that's Akalo City, and, or Akalo, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. And then we have one more that we'd use for uh, cinematics, and that's this one, Wizardry for Magic. I did not make this one either, and uh, I just liked this because... I thought it'd be great for cinematics, you know. Uh, I love Harry Potter, so I thought that this would be completely amazing in, uh, you know, making Harry Potter style videos. That'd just be that'd be amazing, and I just thought that here would be the perfect place to do them, and you know I. I'm thinking about some modifications I could make, just to make it fit better, and to make it so I'm not just completely taking the map. But I just thought this one was really cool too, and you should definitely go check these maps out. If you have the app, you can look them up, Icalo City or Wizardry for Magic, because they are epic. Like, you can explore so far in Icalo City, it's insane. And Wizardry for Magic is just a really cool map. And last of all, we have Cops and Robbers SIU. Now, SIU is going to be a project that I'm making. And it's, uh, SIU stands for Spice It Up Map. I take a map, and I spice it up. So I add little things here and there. And, of course, I won't take credit for any of the 
building or anything. I'm just enjoying having fun with these maps. And this map was just super cool, so I felt like I had to do something with it. So I actually have, I've already edited this map and done the full SIU project just so I can kind of show you what it looks like. So um, this right here, this wasn't there. I just felt like adding that because I thought that was cool. And uh, there are like secret passageways and stuff everywhere. And I thought this version of the map was especially cool because look at these. There are special cells here. Fire, mushroom, ice, desert, and jungle. And it just looked so cool and I, I felt like I had to do something. So the first thing I did, well, all the doors were wooden. So I replaced them with iron doors because that makes more sense. I added rules so you actually know what you're doing, what you have to do. Basically, the prisoners, or the robbers, try to escape the map, and the cop, or the warden, tries to prevent them. And one player is the warden, the others are all the uh, robbers. And then uh, this over here, uh, when this lamp goes off, a prisoner is escaping. Basically, how this works is, over here, we have the Warden's office. And I'm going to let you guys explore all the secret passageways and stuff. I'm just going to show you this, the bare-bones essentials of this map. So this, this chest right here is a trapped chest, but you need it to get upstairs. As you can see, it, has, it says keys, and it has ladders in there, like a lot of ladders. So what you do, you open the chest, grab a key, Put it there, and then you go upstairs, and over here, there are more stairs, and that leads to a little balcony up here, and that's how you escape. But, I felt like the warden needed a warning, like, oh no, a prisoner is escaping. And since, you know, this is pocket edition, and I can't use command blocks, I came up with this idea. And this is the trap chest. It's linked all the way up to here. And a piston pushes this uh, redstone block up and turns the lamp on. So whenever a prisoner is about to escape, that light over there and this light over here go off. So I just felt like this map was really cool. And I just, well... I came up with a few things I could do to help add on. And of course, you know, in everything, not not just the cinematics, I will be using, um, or I will be giving credit to the original creators because they did an awesome job with all of these maps. And I'm just really impressed. So, um, sorry if I sound a little... Uh, off today. My allergies are horrible today. So my nose is stuffy and I'm just not as cheerful as I normally am. So you can probably tell <laughs> from the way I'm yeah, talking and whatever. So anyway, those are three new series that I want to add to the channel. And, of course, we might add another survival series, other than Mystic Valley, which was just started uh, two days ago, I believe. No, three days from when this video is put up. Okay. So, yeah, three days ago, uh, Mystic Valley, Mystic Valley. Whatever it's called. That was, the first video for that was put up, and... I would highly recommend go, going to watch that because that was good. And, um, yeah, so for scheduling, oh, wait, I forgot. It'll be two, three, it'll be five or six days after this video is put up. Um, and if you guys didn't catch, we're actually switching around the schedule a little bit. So 
Mystical posts Tuesdays, and then I post Thursdays now. Because it was just not working for the schedules, and we were missing things and whatnot. So, sorry I didn't post this week, and neither did Mystical on our science days. He posted, Mystical posted on Saturday. But I didn't, because I've been working on this project, and uh, Mystical's been helping me, and our schedules have been really tough this week, so... Yeah. I think that's about it. So, this is Lava King, signing out. Thanks for watching. One more quick announcement. We have another uh, member joining the Lava Pool. His name is Icefire, and uh, we plan on recording him and stuff. I said this in another video, but if you didn't catch that, I'm saying it again here. So, that's about it. This is Lava King, signing out.